Welcome back to another Ever Crisis video here, everyone. Uh, we're going to go over uh, something I think a lot of people are going to agree with. A lot of these things, uh, stuff I've seen in the community from all places. Um, as far as quality of life changes that the game needs. Um, I got a kind of kind of the list here that I've gone over some things that are from myself I've asked communities. Hey, what do you guys think? What are some quality of life changes? Uh, you'd like to see and, and most of them were pretty much the same across the board a lot, a lot of them And I heard some couple original ones that are small, but it could be a little impactful for people So um, I thought these are kind of neat um, Figured you know see what you guys think if you have any other ideas as well. Let me know in the comments um, but uh, I think the number one most requested out of any quality of life thing that everybody i think agrees upon i i don't i don't i, if, I don't think if, if you don't want this something's probably wrong with you <laughs> but uh i think the number one thing that people want is a slider for the weapon and synthesis uh exchange why do weapon metals have a slider in the same exact section of the exchange over here but nothing else does you have to if you want to get these you have to go individually one by one it is an absolute pain in the arse dude why they didn't even implement this from day one when it's already implemented right here in front of us is is beyond me it, i think i think everybody agrees on this 100 percent. i have actually sent in like i even had this like small campaign i started at one point to try to get multiple people to send as much as they could like blow the devs over with this stuff hey we, this needs we need this we need this we need this i don't know why they haven't done it blows my mind anyway yeah that's that's by and far number one uh number number one thing uh the number two thing which which I, which, which this was actually my idea um but but i think it, the bait the general basis a lot of people agree on it is the friends list the friends list needs an overhaul it needs something changed as it stands right now uh the friends list for most people is more or less useless for a lot of people and it's a pain in the butt um, I, I don't even have a maxed out friends list and I'll be honest most of the friends list it does uh, Find use for me because as as somebody that's a streamer and content creator when I'm live streaming the game It is easier for me to get people that are regulars that are on my friends list in but for the majority of players The friends list is, is kind of a pain and you'll you're, you're you might just be uh, Have a friends list full of people you don't even know and you don't do anything with it, right? so my idea was Add something I'm going to call materia share and what that would be is every person gets to pick a materia to equip uh, or, or to share you know a, across all the different materia that you have right so if, say if I want to say hey this is this is my quake era it's really really good it's got great physical attack you know yeah it's it's like a good stat stick right good HP good physical attack good physical defense yeah right it might be useful to somebody you know so I'll select this one and then what what my friends on my friends list can do is out of all their friends and either every battle or, or maybe like once or twice a week or whatever they can use a one specific materia um, that they can borrow or use for one fight or however many fights um, on their party and that way it at least gives some use to to having a friends list and you know because like as it stands right now it's like i don't do anything with it if i'm not streaming with the friends list i pretty much don't touch it right and even then that's only if i'm doing co-op stuff so the friends list needs something added to it as it stands right now it's nothing now we are aware of guilds or something coming out um and maybe that'll change something with the friends list but as it stands right now uh friends list needs needs some kind of changes or something added to it to make it to make it basically do something um uh, another one which uh, which which some people have brought up um, was was extra or just more material farming missions as it stands right now we only have three um, you have pods uh, one two and three um, same thing with nano cubes you know you're you're mostly not going to touch any of these other ones for the most part so it's it's primarily going to be these two um, so basically you know the idea here is hey give us another one maybe it costs thirty energy twenty five energy but you know maybe it guarantees we're going to get one of these instead of a chance you know hey I'm willing to spend more stamina if I can guarantee I get it you know. Um, so that is another thing. So maybe a nanocube four or a genome pod four, you know, a way that way you're not doing these runs and not getting them. Cause as somebody who's done a thousand of these runs with, especially cause I cactuar grind them specifically. Um, I know what it's like to have like a cactuar three X run and not even get one of these. It's, it's not enjoyable. So I totally get it. Um, so that, that's one of them there. Um, and then, and then one thing that I've always really, really, really wanted uh, is is when you go into a co-op and I'm sorry for the people I'm gonna do this to 
but go into a co-op um, and to be able to uh, to toggle the the what you're gonna find uh, with with people. Or, I'm sorry, not what you're gonna find, but I'll, I'll show you here. Well, let's find a random team here. I'm just gonna leave the party because I don't actually want to. Actually, I can do the fight just so I'm you know I'm here to help people. Um, and that that actually go over my next thing as well. But when you go and you find people. As it stands right now, the only thing you can toggle is is basically their main main picture here. Uh, so I'll show you. So you got their main picture here. You can hit toggle, and now you can see their main and sub weapon, or their their secondary weapon, and then the materia. But I have no access to see what their sub weapons are. So I have no idea what kind of setup these guys have. So what if the what if they have and what if they've done auto equip? And if it's like my auto equip does, it likes to throw guard stick, and like like a um, sunbrella. For a physical attacking character into the sub weapon slot so if i'm going into a co-op that's extremely difficult say it's like a crash co-op and i can't check those and we and we go into a fight i'm like why is this person doing no damage from what i can see they should be able to do a ton of damage well they're not doing any well the issue is most likely because their sub weapons aren't set up properly for what they want to do you know for what they need to be able to do so i think being able to see the sub weapons is is pretty important i think that'd be a be a, be a big update and change here that they should do. Um, and, and then the other thing, too, which you kind of get in the fights, um, which I think would be nice. It, it doesn't have to be throughout the entire fight, but, you know, when you have the little cutscenes, um, you know, in the opening fight or, or, you know, an enemy or the boss goes into a little cutscene and says something or when you beat him, whatever it might be, right? Have, a, have some kind of have some kind of subtitle or something, right? Like, for us non-Japanese speakers, um, which is probably going to be the majority of us or anybody watching this video, it'd be cool to just see, hey, what exactly are you saying? Like, I personally understand a little bit of Japanese, so I, I know what some of them are saying, um, but not all of them, and it would just be nice, like a nice little addition to have for that. Um, another little, it, this is more of a bug issue, I don't think, than quality of life, and you're not seeing it right now, but one of the ones that is kind of an issue um, that has been persistent since day one is when an enemy... Um, is weak to an weak to an element, you know. Make sure that element's always blinking, because right, like there's been a lot of issues where the element just doesn't blink. Um, it'll actually stay completely grayed out like these other ones, and I really don't know what the cause is. I've it's, I've seen that since day one, um, and it is a little bit annoying. Again, not not the end of the world, uh, but it would just be a nice thing to have uh, have fixed in the game as far as a. Uh, as far as a, uh, a quality of life improvement would be, right? So, I mean, it's not really quality of life, but it would just be nicer. Let's finish this guy up. Come on. <laughs> I, went, I was too busy talking. I didn't uh, didn't do quite what I should have done there earlier. He should take him out here. Come on, boy. Get him. I believe in you. Oh, no. He's not. Okay. He, this, guy had me, this guy had me sweating a little bit. This guy had me sweating. Yeah, I just figured I, I didn't want to leave. And res... A lot of times in these fights, too, it's not even worth using the ATP to res, because... It really depends on the fight. But I was sitting here talking. Yeah, so so that's kind of some quality of life things for battle there. Most of the things after the fight are kind of nice here. Um, you know, there's not really too many issues. And and then the co as far as some of the co-op stuff, I went over that in another video, so you can check that one out. Um, I don't want to go off. I don't want to go about it twice. Uh, the other, the next thing would be, um, I think a lot of people agree with, is, is auto runs, right? Say, hey, I have this much stamina. I want to use all my stamina to do to run this. Um, you know, say training quest, premium, whatever it might be, right? Training weapon quest, synthesis quest, any of the co-ops. Not co-ops, I guess it'd have to all be single player things. But you know, make it so hey, I'm gonna have my guys only be auto. Here's the team. Use up all my stamina to run through it. Right? The game doesn't offer anything like that. You have to sit there and kind of baby it a little bit um, just to start the fight and re redo the fight. Um, obviously, I don't <laughs> think we can all agree. I, I'm probably not because I'm sure some people would love this and heck realistically I would love it But it would kind of defeat the purpose of, of this thing, but uh, no auto fight obviously for the free XP That'd be a little crazy Because <laughs> um, then everybody would just utilize it and then you know the companies probably start losing money or you know Then then you have the bomb event which would basically be non uh, useless You wouldn't have anything like that So that way you can run these fights for the pieces power pieces all that kind of stuff um, would, would be nice to be able to just use up all your stamina and not have to touch the game for five ten minutes So that would be cool um, uh, The next one would be like what, what we call we're calling a synthesis focus I guess um, is what some people were saying um, and so basically what that is, is, you know, maybe some option to have synthesis work on its own in some, f in some fashion where you can say, Hey, I want to only make this materia and just keep making it right. Use my materials 
use this many materials in this specific fashion and just keep making them um that way it just that's all it does right it just auto kind of like an auto synthesis uh it just kind of works on its own so that'd be kind of a cool thing to do there um and that kind of also works as well here a little bit when making a party so here's like another thing that we were, we, we talked about is a is a uh when you go into let's just take barrett here um when you go into say your equipment especially sub equipment and i'm looking for something specific um we want to do what's going to we're going to say more a more focused filter um for this so if i come in here and i select my r abilities and i say for barrett i'm specifically going okay i need barrett to get some hp but i also want him to get some damage right what i can do is specifically go okay i pick hp i pick physical attack bam right and i do that and it's only gonna give me weapons here that have both hp and physical attack as it stands right now it just gives me every single weapon that has a boost HP and every single weapon that has boost attack, um, boost physical attack. So it's not gonna it's not gonna specify which one it is, you know. And then if it that if that doesn't exist, it just doesn't pop up. Uh, this is one thing I've I've would I've personally wanted quite quite a bit too because I do I make all of my own teams manually. I don't do any of that. It's nice that we do have a filtering option, but the fact that. Um, when I filter, if I'm looking for like specific a specific setup, because I you know of what I I know I need, it makes it more of a pain. Especially as they keep adding more weapons, it's gonna get even worse and worse. So they, I think, I mean, we already have 141 weapons right here that I'm looking at. Um, the more weapons we get, the more filtering options we're gonna need. So I think you know having it more sp uh, specific would be would be a great addition. Uh, the next thing is an idea I never thought of, but somebody brought it up in one of my streams, um, which I think would be really neat is, is while right now you have recommended party, uh, we can all agree recommended party is terrible, right? So if I hit recommended party, it's going to do its own thing and it's really not good, right? It's, it's recommended party is bad. It's ex exactly what it shouldn't be called. It should be called don't recommend party, right? Um, like for instance, you look at Sephiroth here, it equipped his, um, his event sword, the Torn Wings, onto his main slot, when I have an OB6 edged wings that can do big damage. For no reason, it puts this here, right? Makes no sense. Um, and then he's loaded with physical attack weapons, and like, it just, it doesn't make any sense. Like, if I go over here, this is what I was talking about, there's the stick, always gets equipped for no reason, I don't know why. You know, they're throwing a magic magic sigil on cloud i really don't understand how recommended works i think what it does is it takes some of your first weapons or I somehow and throws them in there because i i always end up with guard stick in a sub slot no matter what i'm doing it does not matter it will end up there um same thing with with apology and hell always ends up in a sub slot i really don't know why same thing with this one this one always ends up in a sub, sub slot silver staff so I think, I think one thing that could possibly help this out is make an auto equip, but give you some customization options. Maybe have a checkbox where you say, hey, I want this, I want this, I want this. So you can say, focus on an element, focus on physical attack, focus on healing. Give us more options, some kind of options to have a little bit of control over that. Because as it stands right now, it is terrible. Recommend party is terrible. Auto equip is terrible. Nobody should be doing that whatsoever. Uh, cause I mean, you look, this is auto equipped with my strongest units. If I actually go and I make a good team with them, an actual proper team will boost by about 75,000 power. That's, that's a giant leap in, in, in what I'm going to be able to do in the damage I'm going to output. So like, that's just, it's crazy to me that it's not set up like that. Right. And I could probably go even higher with this and probably make this team better. Cause looking at it here, there are some options I would change. Um, but, but as far as like. You know what it's able to do recommended is terrible don't touch it but so ha if we had some options that would help a lot uh and then the other thing um i think a lot of people have have brought up and i've even gotten pretty pissed off <laughs> at times with this when i fail some of these is the the lack of ability to go into extra section and customize your party there is no option to come in here and select the party like you can everywhere else. It will just go, hey, here's the party we want for you. This is what we recommend. But remember, like we just discussed, recommend sucks. You don't want to do that. So having no way to, to set your party here is a pain in the butt. Not to mention, you can't even, it doesn't even save it. So if I go into this fight, I mean, I'll even show you. If I go into a fight here, let's just take out Tifa. We'll throw in uh, Red Thru, let's just throw in Barret. 
we're gonna best e we'll just best equip Barrett, right? It doesn't matter. So when I do this, I'm just gonna go in and quit. When I come back out, that me swapping to Barrett is gonna be completely gone. It's gonna be back to Tifa, exactly how the game recommends the party I should go with. I don't get it. I don't know why this is such an oversight. I don't know why this has been such an oversight again since day one. This is a day one issue that needs to be fixed. It's it's honestly a problem. I don't even know if it's a quality of life issue. It's an actual problem. So there you go. You got Tifa's back. So that's another huge one that needs to be fixed for story mode extra. You know, allow us to make parties or use parties we have. If the party simply just isn't allowed because like you have to have FF7 characters here, that's fine. Just say, hey, this party can't be used. That's It's that simple. It's that simple. Uh, and last one that uh, that some people recommended to me, um, which I can totally understand because it does make a lot of sense, is chocobos. Uh, primarily, the the lack of experience you get when doing a chocobo. Like, you pretty much get close to no experience from these. To give you an idea, I've had these guys chilling down here since uh, level cap. And, I mean, how close are they? This is all they've gained. That's it. They've gained the tiniest amount of XP. So, when you're going to give us XP grind missions... It makes XP from chocobos pretty much useless, right? Like, why give us XP at all if the if the amount we're gonna get is so tiny? I mean, look at these. The rate, the rate. I mean, obviously, right now I'm not focusing on on these guys getting level ups, but the rate, like this guy's got 135 percent, but yet red is chilling at such a tiny amount, you know, for for like four or five days now. Like, I would expect him to at least be like half level up, may, you know, something, you know. And I do have a lot of uh, choco boosters that I'm waiting for the bonus or the boost to pop up to use them, but again. The, all those choco boosters probably wouldn't even give me one level. So, uh, experience needs some kind of change here. Um, I, I think everything else for chocobos at the moment is mostly fine because we'll eventually, in time, we'll get we'll get more chocobos at higher grades. We'll have other places to still explore. There, it's still there's still a good chunk of things we can get out of it, which I think is fair. What we can get, but yeah. So chocobo experience, I think I think would be a, a nice. Nice change of pace that they should add to the game. So, anyway, that pretty much covers most of the quality life improvements uh, that I've I've gone I've thought about, uh, as well as people have recommended me on my streams and I've seen in uh, different different uh, content areas of Discord, Reddit, things like that. So, yep, thank you guys for watching. Keep rocking, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Thank you for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit like and subscribe. You can catch me live every single day on Twitch and YouTube. So be sure to check the links down below in the description for my channels. And I will see you guys on the next video.